Hello, I'm Entrelism and welcome back, of course, to Total War Three Kingdoms, where I pronounce everyone's name wrong, even if I know better. Uh, we've got Tao Tao sitting here protecting Chen from you. Tao Qian, I'm not pleased with you, mate. You killed Tao Song. You're gonna need to pay. You also tried to attack Chen while I wasn't looking. We got there in time, though. Yeah, you're gonna head to my livestock farm because it's unprotected. What I need to do is I need to push you on the back foot. I need to, like, attack your place. Two former generals of Dong Zhao's faction, Gao Si and Li Ju, have rebelled in the capital, sowing further chaos. Oh, sweet. Okay. What I might do is might initiate some of my, like, credibility stuff. Because we've got so much credibility right now, we need to actually use it. Yeah. So what we will do is we will start doing some diplomacy. How about with... We could get Wang Lang and Xiao Xiao to actually fight or something. What about he... Li? Oh, you don't like me. We could get you to fight Kong Zhou. Maybe. You and Xiao fight Lu Dei. Lu Dei, uh, you're a bit weaker. You and Xiao. Wang Lang. You know what? Yeah. Make it quick. Oh. You won't. Abdicate Emperorship. No, I can't influence you in any way. Okay. What about you? Manipulate negative. Huan Shao. Wait, are you at war with me? Oh, no, you just really hate each other. And. You're already at war? Oh. I guess I don't need to influence you then. You're actually at war with each other already. Really? Yeah. They're straight up at war with each other. Uh, they're not at war with the Han Empire, though. Hmm. Uh, what about he... Yi. Quickly. No. Uh, what about Lu Dei? Excellent. Talk. Okay, I'm gonna you negative with Yan Shao. Thank you yeah. for this insight. Don't want them teaming up. And we've still got some more that we can do. So we probably want Yuan Shao to like be our friend, right? Yuan Shao, negotiate. We talk frankly, but positive. And positive of us. Perhaps there we go. She was positive. Me. Can we negotiate again Welcome, this turn with you? Friend. There you go, calling me a friend. That's great. Uh, ooh, what can we get? Like, we could offer you some food or something? Trade ancillaries? You've got any, like, fun stuff to trade? No. Okay, yeah, I can't propose a coalition because I'm not the high enough, like, level. You are, though. Do you want food? You haven't got much food, right? You've got one food, we've got six. So, like, maybe if we, like, offer food, you'll really like it. Offer food trade. Like, what if we offered you, like, two food? And we could request... Oh, that's a straight up one time. Okay, sorry. Request regular payment. Oh, 
I mean, it's a decent regular payment, right? I think we'll take it. We do need the money. What if we make that 40? Um, 80. 80 is too much. Make it 60. Make it 50. Make it 48. Done. Proposed deal. Such an offer shows clear thinking. Nice. And we are unexceptional. Well, no, we're actually admirable. If we go to unexceptional, we get three uh, credibility per turn. If we're admiral, we only get two. So, like, there's a benefit to just spending all our credibility, right? I think we get bonuses, though, for a few things based on having high credibility. Mm. Liao Yao. Lu, sorry, Lu Yao. Welcome. Come in. Unknown. I can't talk to you. Okay. Um. Why must we speak? I could declare peace with you. I don't really want to go to peace with you, though. Excellent. Ah, Top. right. You. You're neutral to me at the moment. What if we manipulate you to be positive with us? A favorable reputation. And then off the back of that, a pleasure. We negotiate like let's look at that like receive marriage. The air is level 2. Wait, really? Wait. Try that again. Offer to marry someone of your faction to someone in theirs. The character will both remain in the proposer's faction. The characters will stay in our faction. Yeah. 1.7. Yeah, they really like it. Yeah, we could offer that marriage. Get that going. Uh, is there anything else we can get? Like, I assume you don't have any... I've never seen the AI actually have an ancillary to trade for some reason. I think they just equip them to everyone at this stage in the game. A request a regular payment. Try and get like a 62. Okay, 61. Yeah, let's get married. Agreeable terms. Done. Kao Ren is married to Liu Hyo Min. Or Hoi Min. Hoi Min? Probably Hoi Min, I imagine. Done. Okay. Now, let's chase his arsehole down. I return. Summon my advisors. Yeah. He flees. Crush them. What do you now, wish, my lord? one thing I'd like to do... Let's have a look at which you should have. Oh, the both things authority and satisfaction. That's fine. Path. Um... Let's have a look at everyone here. Who is like the least satisfied? 37. You're really satisfied. Damn. Married into ruling family, recently hired, promotion and salary, innate satisfaction. Uh, you then. Z how you and you're actually level two, which is really nice as well. We should probably give you a rat for the extra satisfaction. And then your weapon is 707 melee damage, armor piercing, 177 base, and a 24 attack rate. I don't think we're going to find better than that. No. That said... Who's that in use by? A mother knows her sons. Match Jian. Wait, it's not in use, is it?
Oh, and Sidhu's not in use, cannot be equipped. Okay, well, maybe I should just not see the non-equippable ones. Uh, currently you do 202, 163. We can increase that base damage, but we'd lose the arm piercing. You'd get authority rather than expertise. No, I want you to have expertise. Your cunning gives you more ammunition for people. The absence of people is indicative of China's sickness. Lao Hoi Min, Court Noble, I think you should get this better weapon because you're already level two, right? It makes sense to give you that unless someone else can equip it. I don't think anyone else can. Like, you can. And you are a level two sentinel. It might make more sense for you to have it because you're a commander. Whereas you're a sentinel, you're actually, like, about fighting. Oh, you lose expertise, though. Ooh. You know what? Yeah, Cal Ren, you just got... Was it you got married? I think it was Cal Ren got married, right? Yeah. This is your uh, wedding present. Well done. And then we've got reform. Mm. The trade agreement is nice if we can get someone to actually trade with. Agricultural tax relief gives us irrigated paddy field, grain estate. Peasant band, light spear infantry. <sighs> you know what? I think the extra trade is good. I don't think there's anyone we can actually trade with, is there? Oh, Lou Day, like maybe? Oh no, we've got Lu Day already. What about Kong Zhou? We're trading with you already. What about Wang Lang? A welcome sight. Yeah, 309 trade agreement. And they love it. In fact, they love it so much we could probably get regular payment. Not much, but some. We are in agreement. Okay. Now, I'm worried about if you're gonna like circle around or something. We would not be your enemy. Zhang Chao wants a non-aggression pact. Zhang Chao, where are you? Can we negotiate this? Like, you want the non-aggression pact? What if, you know, I make a payment? This is one thing you used to be able to do in the Total War games. You'd be like, right, what if I, like, pay you 300? Like, I was basically a money lender in, like, the old Total War games. I was like, I'll, I'll pay you money, but you make me a regular payment. And then people would, like, end up paying me more money. As it is. No, it doesn't work anymore. Like, we end up paying them net money. You know what? They don't want it enough. No. Reject. We withdraw it then. Ooh. Fire versus enigmatic. As you're talking in the air, you overhear a conversation between two colleagues. There is strength in mystery, my friend. Do not be so bold all the time, says the first. What? cries the second. I do not see your point. My passion is irrepressible. I cannot contain it. The two make you laugh, but also pose an interesting question. Fiery, enigmatic, or ignore. Ah, yeah. Uh, Zhang Hong wants to be enigmatic, whereas Zi Hao Dun wants to be fiery. We get a relationship with either. I think we'll go for. The 
You know, we've got a lot of relationship with you. I think we'll try enigmatic, try and up our relationship with you as well. Now, here's the thing. I'm fed up of chasing you. Impossible. Lead strongly. Attack! Ah. <sighs> Run out of move. At some point, we're going to have to just quit. But you are taking attrition while being in our territory, right? If you just keep running around our territory, you'll take attrition and we'll win. But right Battle now, you're in a position to not attack. Always the answer. Oh! You want military access and you'll pay me money? Ah! What if you give me food? Will you do that? No. What if you give me... Regular money? Okay, that works out of 760. Sure, you know military access. Effortless packs. You know what, if you're gonna run up here, fine. Ooh! Tao Tao and Lady Bian, joyous occasion, a son has been born. New blood keeps the line strong. We got Cao Wengao, I think? Also, promotion opportunities. Dian Wei? Oh my god. Brute of unmatched power. You're level four already. And you've got three points to spend. Ah, oh, neat. Legendary champion. Twin Marshal Z. Bloody hell, you are stacked. Okay. Trust. 10% armor for spear infantry. Income from peasantry. Unyielding Earth, we already got. Consideration. Reinforcement range when commanding. We get encourage. Oh, we've already got that, okay. Vengeance. Enable scare. Temeral and own territory. Instinct. Cunning. Guerrilla deployment. Driver's ancients of ambushing. You know, we'll take trust. Reach, 25% campaign movement range. That's great. And I think we'll take Vengeance as well. Look at that instinct. And you've got a decent amount of health as well. Brave, intimidating, dutiful. I really want to give you, like, control of something. Right. And then Cal Ren's gone up. A brute of unmatched power. Dian Wei, known as the Bastion Strength and Loyalty. It is said that once a mighty banner was blowing over the breeze and ten men could not hold it up. However, Dian Wei, using just one hand, held the banner upright and in great fame. Nice. Right. And then you have leveled up. You have scholarship, cunning, character expertise, income from commerce, silk, and spice. We get diligence. Uh, evasion, bonus experience. Uh, we could get patience, chance of capturing enemy officers post battle. That's useful. Increased rate of wall and settlement damage during siege. We've got intuition, ranged block chance, and precision. Ranged arm pissing damage, own army. And then ranged firing rate when commanding. I think what we'll do is we'll grab precision. Yeah. Oh. I forgot to press apply. Sure. Now, what I think we'll do is we'll have to recruit someone. We've got the income for it. I'm not sure I want to upgrade you to a livestock estate just yet, just because you are kind of in a risky area. 
So I think we will raise an army here. And you'll be in charge of it. Because you're a badass and you've got extra movement range. Ben. Do not a new army has been raised under the command of your appointed general. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, lady. Uh, we could go for... Cal Ren is currently an assignment. Can't be deployed. Okay. You do not like this guy. Okay. Uh, a commander would be decent. Liao Hyumin? Maybe. Uh, it's quite an expense. Zihao Yan? What are you? You are a legendary vanguard. I mean, you are legendary, right? That's pretty bad. It's super expensive. So tempting. And then what about Cao Ren? Like, what are you? Autumn's evening. Brave hunter. Yet Maker of ways. I think for now, we'll just get you to, like, recruit a couple more troops. And it's like anything of a spear suits you? Yeah. For now. And then we'll get someone else in next turn. And then you! We're gonna ignore you. We're just gonna go straight for your capital. I don't know what it is. What is it? Just farmland? Yeah, we'll head that way. And you can upgrade, but I won't upgrade you just yet. We offer you peace. Take it or die. No. I'm just straight up rejecting Greed that. Is an ugly trait. Dude, you killed Tao Song. That's not on. You can't be the one saying, oh, Creed's an ugly trait, etc. March as one. Cut them down. Ah, you're going to defend Walk your farmland. Oh, damn. Absolutely. This guy's got a full on everyone in crypt retinue. Nice. Uh, what can we build here? Can upgrade that. We could upgrade the land registry office to either irrigated farms or a food trader. We lose food, but we get more income. I don't think we want to lose food at this stage. I think the irrigated farms is good. Yeah, we'll pay for that. China is people, not its oppressive war. All must unite. Okay. And Lady Bian. Oh, nice. You got a skill point. Uh, we could go for dignity. As the mountain. Or mobility. Um. We'll go for mobility. Get that extra buff to authority. She is the mother of our child, so she's got a lot of authority going on. We would not be your enemy. Uh, Non-aggression pact. I'm gonna reject that. Very well. Just because at some point I might want to pop up here. Right, we're starting to suffer. Decrease the military supplies. Strike hard for order. We could just straight up take him right now. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll take him. We don't want to wait for them to like send their army to reinforce them. I think we'll just start the battle. No point in letting the enemy get that advantage on us. Just hit him. Hit him hard, hit him now. Our progress Take has him been out. Adequate. May it continue. Your face is adequate. The shadows grow long. The nights grow darker. Whatever must be done, will be done. 
Sure. Your pre-battle banter is getting a little bit still, mate. Right. Uh, I honestly, I think the deployment's fine. Ready to ride. Your generals are the most vital soldiers on the battlefield. Each one has their own strengths and weaknesses. Okay, let's start with the bombardment. Good opening salvos. Incoming trebuchet. They've got a lot of archers. I think we have to prep everyone for this. Horses, stand ready. All right, cavalry. Feel yourself. Cavalry. Stand ready. Cavalry. You can stay here. Try and pull them out of position. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. Nice. Good start. I mean, that many arrows, all flaming, and trebuchet attacks. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not going to knock you for fleeing, mate. However, we will start our charge. The enemy warriors are running. Ha! Locked and ready. Oh, okay. Hold fire. Hold fire. You just killed a load of our own guys. Which formation? Here we go. <laughs> That's a pretty big jump. Yep, those archers are not having a good day. Also, some real acrobatics. You've got that kind of going in sync there. And yielding up! Look, the enemy run, Craven. There we go. Victory. And then finish them off. See how Dun's just having fun. Takes that entire unit by himself. Gotta be careful, I'm firing a trebuchet right next to my own, like, general. Probably a bad idea. There we go. Win! I think like half our casualties came from when we fired a trebuchet into our own ranks at point blank range. And I was just thinking as that happened, you know what, we should probably stop firing off this one volley. Nope. Should have stopped before that volley.
It is just we did lose 50. Be. Still, they lost, you know, nine times that. More than that. Ten. Nineteen times that. Almost. Uh, seven, seventeen? Seventeen times that. Uh, we'll just strip Occupy, I think. Taking the settlement. I want the income. And they've got a they've got a city, not a small city, a full on city. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to deal with that. I think we'll also take the opportunity to upgrade you to a livestock estate there as well. Oh, that income. Right, either way, I think we're good. Hope you enjoyed this episode. You had like, subscribe, you know the drill by now. Comment down below, all that jazz. Next time, I think we're going to try and deal with Tao Qiang ourselves. He's probably going to sneak back to his city and want to replenish his forces. I don't want to try and let him. I don't know if we can take the city, though. It is a... It's pretty powerful. I return. Summon my advisors. Ah, sack value of 6,000. That's nice. Until next time, stay shiny.